All right, in the city of Detroit. Thank you for checking out this video. I'm gonna take you on a little ride. Right up ahead is West Grand Boulevard. I'm gonna do West Grand Boulevard, and it's gonna turn to East Grand Boulevard. West, West Side Detroit, East, East Side Detroit. It's gonna be a nice drive. Get to see uh, some of the city. So if you're interested, stay, stay tuned. Get on our way. It's the West Grand Boulevard. Beautiful day. See all the trees. Nice and proud of Detroit. Kind of by Mexican Town. That's actually right next to Mexican Town. If you're familiar with Detroit. 75 degrees. Gotta watch out for some of these roads. West Burner, make a stop. It was 75 degrees on a Sunday, Sunday morning. And uh, it's trying to look for something. But anyways, uh, I'll take you in some of the neighborhoods a little bit up here. Try to make it a 30 minute video. I just found out recently that for some reason my camera cuts off at 30 minutes, even if I have enough memory on the card. So we'll make it a 30 minute video. I'll show you some of the neighborhoods. Be kind of quiet outside, not a lot of traffic. Hope this uh, light changes soon. Some of these lights take a long time. But this is Southwest Detroit, Werner and West Grand Boulevard. So you can. Maybe you can hear the birds. Still pretty early. Alright, we're gonna get on the way. Go towards Michigan Avenue. Fireworks are gonna be down here tomorrow. Detroit fireworks, so I'm gonna try to make it. You know, my, my work schedule is pretty early, but I'm gonna do my best to make it. I really wanna do it just to see the fireworks. They're a good time. And if I do make it there, I'll definitely do a video. That way, if you don't get a chance to attend the fireworks, you can see them through the video. All right, we're going to here. Very quiet. I like doing these type of videos early in the morning. I like pretty cool. Coming closer to Michigan Avenue. In like two or three minutes, I'll go in one of the neighborhoods. This is kind of a longer road. So I want to make sure I make it all the way towards the end, which will be like by Belle Isle, if you're familiar with Detroit. And Belle Isle is a very, very nice place, very nice park, especially during the summer. This is Michigan Avenue right here. If you go right, you go to downtown Detroit, and you can go left, and you can take it all the way to Chicago. Take a very long time, but you can make it. It ends at Trump Tower in downtown Chicago. Martin Luther King. I'll make a right at this next street. It goes right along West Grand Boulevard, Vinewood Street. Make it right, show you some of the neighborhood. Just got to 1,000 subscribers a couple days ago, so thank you for subscribing. You know, I do my best to read the comments and reply. And you know, I look forward to even getting more subscribers and doing more videos. I'm working on doing a road trip around the East Coast coming up soon. Everything will work out. I'll do some videos of that and uh, it'll be a good time. So I really appreciate it if you subscribed. If you like Detroit and you like these type of videos, please subscribe. And I plan on doing a lot more 
outdoor videos, showing the city, also exploring things, things like that. I had to do something during the winter and it's warm in the car so driving videos really, really helped me through the seasonal depression and all that. You know it can get pretty cold here and sometimes it's hard to find something to do and doing the videos and you know that really helps. Interacting with the people, I got an Instagram and all that. That's in the description of each of my videos. F. Maples Photography, Hancock Street. I do photography too in Detroit. Open space, you know. You can. Uh, you know, Detroit's had a big population decrease in the last, you know, quite a few years. But you know, a lot of people are buying up the houses, buying up the land, fixing it, and you can get some really unique properties around here, pretty affordable. You just gotta put your you you put some effort into it, or you know, you can buy in a, an existing property. This is West Grand Boulevard, right here I'll make a, a right. This is the road that I that we started out on. So I'm just getting back to the main road, East, East 94 right here. But like I was saying, a lot of people are buying up these properties, and they're bigger places too. You know, you can get a lot of value out here. And there are expensive places out here too, but you know, compared to the rest of the United States, I think it's pretty affordable. Right above 94 right now, I-94. See over there on the left, you see a fire, fire truck. Probably cleaning it, cleaning the fire truck. Just the camera a little bit. Go towards Grand River, I believe. Check it out. Speed limit signs backwards. As you can see, it's pretty quiet. It's like 9.30 in the morning. But still, you know, it's a major city and not a lot of traffic. Not even downtown right now. A lot of tra not a lot of traffic at all. There will be tomorrow night, though. That's for sure for the fireworks. up on 996. Pretty soon I'll turn left into one of the neighborhoods. Show you a little bit of that area. A lot of construction. Sometimes people give me an interesting look when they see me doing videos. People look. But well, you'd be surprised at how many times I'll post a video and somebody will say, well, you went through my neighborhood or this or that and, you know, I know that if I keep doing these videos, regardless of whether it's driving or walking or exploring, or, I know it's going to turn into something big, you know, and it's not really about the monetization, you know, I, I do want the money, but I also want to, you know, I do this along with my photography and, you know, I enjoy it. I'm not just doing it for the money. You know, I do enjoy the city. I do enjoy driving, exploring, everything, you know, everything that has to do with this. So, if I could go back in time, I would have started doing YouTube videos years ago. Back when I used to live in Florida, I was thinking about doing it. I just never did it, you know? But you can't regret the past, you know? You can just... <clears throat> that big building on the right is Lee Plaza. Remember that was once at one time a very nice hotel. Maybe I'll be able to explore it sometime again. I did a couple years ago, but you know, I wasn't into the YouTube back then. So, you know, I wish I were. That way I could link up the video and you could see. It's one of the past regret, but you know, always look at the future. All right, this is a neighborhood right here. 
car broke down. I'm trying to see what street this is. I feel sorry for them. Northwestern Street. Yeah, hopefully they can get on their way. Streets are one way down here. West side Detroit. Grand River and West Grand Boulevard area. Linwood. You get to, straight ahead, you can get into some pretty nice houses, too. Big properties. I think what I'll do is, West Grand Boulevard's right up there. I'm gonna make a left, take you into a little bit more of this neighborhood. Then we'll get back on West Grand Boulevard. Then we'll go to East Grand Boulevard, which is the same road, but West Grand Boulevard is West Side Detroit, East Grand Boulevard's East Side Detroit. It's like uh, east and west. So uh, it's gonna be like 15 minutes west side, 15 minutes east side. It's gonna be a good video. Let's sell. Turn the camera a little bit so you can see once the sun gets out of the way. Get some really nice houses over here. I wish I knew more about the, like the property value, like how much it costs, but to live around here is pretty affordable, like what I was saying earlier, compared to the rest of the United States. I know that. A little slow. The South Boulevard. A lot of history around this area too. You know, Aretha Franklin, you know, has been, you know, grew up around here and, uh, whatchamacallit. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks has been a lot around this area. Martin Luther King, all these people, all these people. A lot of history in Detroit. Motown Museum is up here on the right. I'll kind of, you know, if you've heard of that place, I'll turn the camera that way. Just so you can see what that's like. And that's like one of the most visited places in the city of Detroit, is the Motown Museum. You can always see him doing something out there. Big building you see up ahead? Yeah, I had to look it up. Aretha Franklin, born in Memphis, Tennessee, and she died She died in Detroit, Michigan. Aretha Franklin. Yeah, so a lot of performers, a lot of people, a lot of musicians, a lot of people have you know had some involvement in the city of Detroit. And, uh, Right up here is where the Motown Museum is. I'll take, actually, you know what? I don't see anybody behind me. I'll go a little bit slower. Right over there. Motown Museum. Definitely recommend checking that place out. I remember when Aretha, Aretha Franklin died, and it said she died in Detroit, August 16th, 2018. The time feels like it was, feels like just like it was yesterday. The time goes by fast, but anyways, this is a large, new center area. That big building, like I was saying, that's the Fisher Building. That's a beautiful building to go on the inside. They got the Fisher Theater in there. Second, yeah, some of the architecture in Detroit's beautiful. I wish I knew just a little bit more about some of these other buildings, but you know, you got the Hotel St. Regis on the left, that big building, the Fisher Building, and this light right here. 
is going to separate West Grand Boulevard, East Grand Boulevard. So technically we'd be going in the east side of Detroit right now. It's 15 minutes in the video. That's pretty cool. Right there, Baobab Fair, that restaurant right there, really good. East African food, been there a couple times. Woodward and West Grand Boulevard. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll make a right. I'll make a right and I'll make a left. You can see that rail, like right below. That's for the Q line. That takes people like from like Midtown Detroit, New Center area, where I am, we are right now. That'll take you right downtown, which is straight ahead. So, you know, if you didn't, you know, if you didn't want to rent a car or if you don't have a car, you can always take the Q line in Woodward right here. This is, uh, I want to say it's the main street in Detroit. If you were to visit Detroit, you definitely know Woodward Avenue. Stop, let these people go in the van. They're gonna let me go. Try to survive some of these potholes. Make a left, right here, Brush Street. We'll get back on East Grand Boulevard. There was actually a cop kind of like, not right behind me, but the reason why I wanted to turn is because there was a cop behind me. I want to be able to drive and talk a little bit, and I don't want to have a police officer right behind me. So we'll make a, a right, East Grand Boulevard. It's kind of spread out, pretty spread out out here. A lot of graffiti and artwork around here. Kind of tilted. By the Russell, if you're familiar with Detroit, you know the Russell building's got a lot of stuff going on in it. They had uh, the backwoods and bonfires thing going yesterday, but uh, I missed out on the tickets. They sold out, you know. Started out at $30, went up to $80. I told myself, you know, I was going to get tickets and I never did, so I, I missed out. It's procrastination, you know, but uh, I had some fun last night. Wait about 20 seconds for the light to change. This is like uh, 75 East Grand Boulevard area. If you're familiar with Detroit, I'm going to do my best to make it to the end of East Grand Boulevard in 12 minutes. Might be a little bit of a challenge. So if the video cuts out, I'll say my goodbye after 29 minutes, but I believe I can do it in 11 minutes. Show you the east side of Detroit. You can catch some of these lights, stay green. All right, more green lights the better. A lot of industrial area around here. by Hamtramck. If you're familiar with Hamtramck, that's another unique city. Back in the day, they used to do a lot of drag racing down here during the middle of the night. Illegal drag racing. They probably still do to this day. I should try to come out here during the middle of the night. My job's got me getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning, six days out of the week, so try to get to sleep early. It's hard though, especially during the summer months, but me personally, I like getting up early in the morning. Garbage facility.
lot of industrial area. It's like right alongside 94 we're going to, but we're gonna make a right. It's kind of a weird uh, get back on East Grand Boulevard. Ninety-four East Grand Boulevard, nice paved roads, beautiful. You can see though some of these areas, some of these properties are really nice though. You know, I'll show you the. We're going towards the Packard plant right now, and uh, they're tearing that place down. But that was, well, technically still is the biggest abandoned building in the United States. You know, I've explored it years ago, and, you know, I didn't have YouTube then, which is another con, because, you know, it's another bad thing, because it would be cool to have uh, a video of what that place was like 10, 12 years ago. Literally, people all over the United States, and maybe even, you know, people from Europe, you know, urban explorers, you know, they know this building up here, the Packard, the Packard plant. Some of it's tore down now, but you'll see it up here. I might slow down a little bit just to show you. Go through this light here. Go over these tracks. But the Packard plant, yep. Got a lot of it tore down. This whole area. Big place. nice places here you know Detroit you know that that Packard plant they employed a lot of people and you know a lot of those people lived around here and you can see in some of these homes there is still to this day a lot of wealth in Detroit it doesn't you know you get a lot of bad news in the city but there's a lot of wealth in Detroit still and you can see at one time even over here it doesn't look the best but you can see you know back in the day that one time, you know, a lot of these homes were once, you know, built up nice and, you know, you have a lot of abandoned lots that you can see, boarded up homes. Some of them are still going though, you know. You can see what it once was, but a lot of that's still coming back. And if you can invest, you know, some money in this one of these properties, you know, overall, in my opinion, it's a... Uh, it's a good investment because it's not that bad of a city. I've lived here most of my life. Live in the suburbs, but been in and around Detroit most of my life. This is uh, East Warren and then Gratiot, right up here. I'm gonna try to make it all the way to the end to uh, West Jefferson or East Jefferson. Now will be all of West Grand and East Grand Boulevard. I hope to make it too. That big that building on the right, past Gratiot up here, abandoned church. I really want to explore it and put it on the YouTube. I should do it. There you go. The eight waiting for the light. That building on the right that you see. Not too far from downtown Detroit either. Maybe like seven minutes. But that building on the right, right there, it's got boards on it. But I'll see right now, I'll go slow. I do see a way to get in, but it's a kind of a sketchy way to get in, you know, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, you can get in there. Back in the day, especially in my 20s, I explored a lot of those abandoned buildings. You know, I used to do graffiti and everything. I could tell you some stories, you know. I never had a bad time, a bad experience. But uh, exploring some of those abandoned buildings is 
is uh, very interesting. Even though I'm a little bit older right now, I, I still want to explore some of them sometime. And you know, when I do, I'll, I'll post a video about it. But I got the camera angle towards the right so you can see kind of how these people live over here. So not bad. Some of them probably two families or some of them maybe one. About seven to ten minutes away from downtown Detroit right now. So like on a day like this, you could easily ride your bike there. Not like he is. Maybe he's going there. East Grand Boulevard in the back. Familiar with Detroit. Going to a one lane. Hey, I might make it in 30 minutes. We're almost by uh, Belle Isle. drive if you stuck if you stuck with me through the entire video I'd really appreciate it you got to see West Grand Boulevard East Grand Boulevard a little bit of the west side east side Detroit and I can see Belle Isle up there which is exactly where I wanted to stop the video I'll ang I'll angle this. so you can see uh, Houses. Exactly where I wanted to end the video, 30 minutes to 27 minutes right now. I have a lot of other Detroit videos. I'll put a link up towards the end of this video in a couple minutes. And uh, if you're interested in these type of videos, please subscribe. I really appreciate if you 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 were one of the 1,000 subscribers. You know, it's a big milestone and getting that 4,000 viewing hours is the next big one to get to the monetization. And uh, that, can only, that can only be accomplished by me doing my part, doing more videos. But also too, you know, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Please share them with uh, people you know. You know, even doing the likes and the comments, that can, that, that's engagement right there and that helps out also I'm on Instagram f.maples photography or just f.maples photography I have two Instagrams and I do my best to be on Twitter that's not a big thing for me but you know Twitter I'm on there too I put the, the, the info and all the description of all my videos so I'll shut up here for the next uh, minute and a half but I appreciate anything though any type of engagement helps Show you a little bit more for the next minute, minute and a half. We're going towards East Jefferson. I'll cut out the video, turn it off. Thank you for checking out my video. And feel free to check out some of my other videos. I'm gonna enjoy my Sunday. Thanks again for checking out my video and take care.